In the hallowed halls of Buckingham Palace, a somber revelation echoes through the corridors. King Charles, the venerable monarch, faces a formidable adversary, cancer. The news reverberates across the kingdom, leaving subjects and courtiers alike in a state of concern and curiosity. The saga began during a seemingly routine medical procedure. As the king sought treatment for an enlarged prostate, diligent physicians detected a separate issue of concern. This enigmatic concern, shrouded in medical secrecy, was none other than a form of cancer. The palace, ever discreet, has refrained from divulging further specifics about the type or location of this insidious ailment. Undeterred by the ominous diagnosis, King Charles remains resolute. His regal demeanor unwavering, he embarks on a schedule of regular treatments. The palace assures us that this formidable ruler does not suffer from prostate cancer, but the shadow of another malignancy looms. The king's public-facing duties, once a beacon of his reign, are now postponed to allow for private recuperation. As the sun sets over Windsor Castle, questions abound. What form does this cancer take? Where does the king seek solace and healing? The answers remain veiled, guarded by the palace's discretion. Yet, we glimpse into the labyrinth of cancer diagnosis, a delicate dance of symptoms, tests, and biopsies. Sometimes, as in the king's case, cancer reveals itself unexpectedly, lurking amidst unrelated medical checks. Cancer, that insidious foe, knows no royal lineage. It strikes with impartiality, weaving its treacherous web within the cells of the young and old alike. In the United Kingdom, one in two people will grapple with some form of cancer during their lifetime. Breast, lung, prostate, and bowel cancers dominate the landscape, each demanding its unique battle plan. The king, at 75, joins the ranks of those who face this formidable adversary. As the nation holds its breath, we ponder the king's fate. Will he emerge victorious, wielding the scepter against this unseen adversary? Or will the shadows deepen, casting uncertainty upon the throne? Our collective gaze turns to the medical arsenal, treatments, therapies, and perhaps a touch of royal resilience. For now, the king's state business and official paperwork continue, a testament to his unwavering spirit. And so, the chronicle unfolds a tale of regal strength, whispered consultations, and the quiet courage of a sovereign facing the unknown. The kingdom watches, hopeful yet apprehensive, as King Charles grapples with his most formidable foe, cancer. Long live the king!